What is going on, guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Faith Jasper. As always, I need to slow down. Let's do this again. What's going on, guys? My name is Faith Jasper. As always, and welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I know the video has been very. I know for the past couple weeks, the videos have been very inconsistent and very spread apart. <laughs> um, I know. I know. It will change. I keep saying that, but it really has to change soon. I wish. I wish I could tell you. Um. It will all, it will all, I will all explain everything whenever, um, I can. For, for who is still watching, uh, every video that I post, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, let's just go and do this. I'm doing a and a today. Snapchat Q&A again. Uh, I love the people on Snapchat. I always talk back to you guys on Snapchat whenever you guys send me some pictures or, um, some messages or questions. I always try to answer them. But yeah, so today we're going to answer, uh, and open them in the video. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun, hopefully. Uh, it probably will be a lot of fun. And also, I picked up your new shoes today. I just wanted to show you because I really love them. Uh, I bought these bad boys. And then these. Do you guys like them? Leave a like if you like them. Snapchat. If you don't follow me on Snapchat. Ooh, what the hell? You can see myself. If you don't follow me on Snapchat, it is Jasper Snaps. Jasper Snaps. I wanted to talk personal with you guys. Like, really, like, not even fitness, but, like, personal. Um, because I felt like it and I felt um, like I wanted to talk on a personal level with you guys. So, um, let's just go and do this. What are things that get you really angry? That's the first question. It's a very good question. There's not a lot of things that get me really angry. But one thing that I, I really can stand is when people are always late for no apparent reason. Like, imagine like going out to dinner with a friend and then you're like, you're chilling, you're outside waiting for your friend to come, you you meet him there, 5.30 was the deal, and then he comes 5.45 or 5.50. And he's like, oh, I'm sorry, I was too lazy. Like, ah, oh, that gets, I'm always five minutes early. I'm always five minutes early. I always want to be on time because I don't like to be late and I don't like other people to be late either. So that gets me really mad. <laughs> What's your favorite junk food? Listen, okay, two things. Ember, thank you for your question, first of all. Nutella and uh, uh, Big Don's Big Mac, man. Oh, man, they're so good. Everything in moderation, guys. <laughs> but a Big Mac every now and then, I really love that. Don't tell my mom. Jasper, do you feel like you're not needed in face? Jasper, do you feel like you're not needed in face? It's actually a good question. Um, no, I don't feel not needed because I know what's going on behind the scenes. I can understand why, why some people think that because some people don't really understand why I'm in phase. And I haven't told you guys yet or and that's why um, this is the thing that I keep talking about. I have a purpose in phase. Well, not officially yet, but it will come very soon officially. Um, but then it will all make sense. But I definitely had a period of time between phase fitness and the thing that I'm doing, going to be doing right now is where I definitely felt useless. You know, I had no thing to do in phase. Um, obviously I joined phase off of phase fitness, but then when that kind of, um, died down, I, I don't even want to say died because we don't know what we're doing with it yet. But when it kind of slowed down, it kind of, you know, messed me up a little bit because I didn't know what my purpose was in phase. But that's a good question, man. Thank you for your question. That's awesome. This is the stuff that I want to talk about. I just want to be personal. I want to be real with you guys. I'm always, I'm always honest with you guys. I don't, I don't lie. I like, I, I would, I would never tell you I like Big Macs if I, if I felt guilty about it or something, you know, whatever. Who's your inspiration in football? Also soccer for all you Americans out there. Um, Cristiano Ronaldo, man. Uh, I've been a big fanboy of him as a person, as a football player. Uh, for such a long time. I, I remember actually exactly the moment that I kind of like, you know, I, that I kind of became a fanboy, if you could say that. Uh, it was Euros, the European Championship, 2004, in Portugal, when Portugal played against Holland, and he made that header goal. <laughs> I don't know. For some reason, I really like the way he does things, he handles things, his mindset. Um, that something that really inspires me because he's also a person that really believes in himself and always thinks that he can do better and always wants to really, really work hard to improve. And it shows, you know. Uh, he's, in my opinion, the best. Um, and if he, even maybe the best ever. So, um, yeah. The, the mindset that he has, the thing that he does, um, it shows. Um, he's awesome. And I really like him. I can't lie here. I, I'm really a fan. I, I usually... Dude, listen. When I was like 
12, 13, I had posters all over my room, like four or five posters, like big, big posters. And then I had blankets that were Ronaldo blankets. I had the shirts. Dude, I had everything. I even at some point did the, the hairstyle he did. It was crazy. Listen, I was a fanboy. I'm when I'm obsessed with something or someone, I'm obsessed. Well, I used to be like really obsessed. What's the meaning of life? Going after that one thing that you um, feel like that's your purpose. When you figure out like the thing that you really want to do, then going after that, that's the meaning of life to me. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Yes, of course. Um, uh, it's been a long time. Although I am, I gotta say now, I am talking to a girl that I really like. I've had like two like real relationships when I was a little bit older and it's like more meaningful. Hi Jasper, we're wondering, can you skate? Can you skate? <laughs> <laughs> What's up bro? That's awesome. Um, no, I can't skate man. I'm, I'm super bad at that stuff. Do you, did you ever think everything that, wait, hold on. Screenshot. Oh, it's gone. Did, did you ever think everything that you are doing would ever go downhill? Um, good question. So pretty much he's asking if I ever think that something I'm doing goes downhill. Um, yes, of course, because I look at this stuff like this. This is the position you're in right now, like this position right here. And the goal is all the way over here, all the way up here. It's so confusing to watch it myself. And the thing is, you are here and you want to go there, right? You want to go there. It's not going to be a straight line. It's not going to be like, oh, progression, 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 and you get you there. It's more going to be like, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 you know? It's going to be like ups and downs. So things are going to regress at some point. Not, not only progress, but it's all going to, you know, go downhill at some point. It's going to be go slower. The growth is not going to be there. You, we might even shrink at some point. The thing is... You always want to keep going. You want to. You always want to keep that. You, you always have got to keep this in sight. You always got to be like, okay, this is the end goal, and this is where I want to go. Eventually, I will come there. It's gonna be a roller coaster, but someday I will be there. And that's the that's the thing that I really like about it. Um, ups and downs, man. Don't get don't get unmotivated when you get a little bit of a downhill phase. It's gonna be better. After the rain comes sunshine. What's your favorite song at the moment? It's this song. Hey, it's a dope song. I love it. Hey man, what's up? Uh, just kind of wanted to ask if you're doing all right. I know you're talking about being pretty stressed out, and just kind of want to check in and see see what's going on. Hey, so following up on that last portion, uh, you know, I just want to let you know, not only you, but anybody watching this video, you guys can come to me with anything. Uh, I'm always around for you guys. This guy's awesome. This is Taylor. Taylor has been a follower for me for a long time. He's super active on every single platform. I want to give a big shout out to you, Ter um, Taylor. Um, yeah, I appreciate you, bro. The thing is, I was, I am super stressed out. It's because of the, the I don't really like being, like being dependent on others, other people's schedules and other people's time management and uh, being, having to wait for certain things that shouldn't take too long. And um, this is something I've had to deal with for a longer time. And it's quite hard to deal with it for me since I, I am a very fast paced person. So uh, as I said, I don't like waiting. I don't like waiting on other people. Like if you say come 530, I'll be 525 and then we 530, we can go whatever, do what the plan was. I don't like to be like 540, like, I waste 10 minutes of my life. I'm a very fast paced human being. You know, so when I make something, so when there's plans with something in whatever situation it is, I want it to be done as fast as possible. Obviously, I know not everything can be as fast as I would like. Of course, I'm very reasonable with that. Uh, things take time. But at some point, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be more than that. It's going to be taking too long, in my opinion. And then I have a very hard time dealing with that. I get very stressed out. I get very anxious about it, you know, I'm like, I don't know what to do at that point because you're dependent on others, so there's nothing much you can do and I hate that feeling, I really, really hate that feeling because you're, you can't help, you can't help it, you, there's nothing you can do to change it, you know. Yo man, I, I just let, I just wanted to show you my progress since I start working out, I bought your first workout routine. Dude! Okay, look at this, look at this guy. 
and then look at this ripped ass motherfucker. Holy shit, bro. Dude, you're awesome. Congratulations, man. That's all you, bro. I love seeing this. I love seeing people changing their freaking lives, man. Yo, bro, I'm recording the video right now. I'm actually stunned how you look, bro. That's so awesome. Um, uh, tell me more about it. How did you do it? And uh, tell me more, please. This happens on Snapchat a lot. People send their transformations and stuff. It's awesome. I always send them stuff back. I always, I always try to show the love that you guys give me and I, I give it back to you. How do you deal with failure? Good question. Um, how do you deal with failure? I think the best way to deal with favor is to give it a place, but not time. This is something... I think I've said this before, but I don't give failure a time, any time in my life. Like, whenever something fails, fuck it. I put it in place, in my head, and then I don't give it any thought or time to mess with me in any way. There's a time and place for everything, except for failure. There's only a place for it, and it's back in your head, forget about it. <laughs> Who would win in a fight, you or Sensei? Roll the clip! And then boom. That's not gonna be me on top. Nope, that will not be me. I am dead. Whenever I step in the cage with Sensei, I'm gone. So that was it for this video, guys. I uh, hope you understand everything that's going on. Um, I feel really bad about it. I maybe want to do a video on how I'm feeling, how stressed I am, uh, but maybe not. I'm not sure. I haven't decided yet. But um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. If you watched to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Leave a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.